The next stop is on the radar radio. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. Yeah. Yes, sir, baby. On the radar radio, yo, special guest in the building, Philly in the building, Sean Smith in the building, my guy. Welcome. What's up? How are What's you up? Today? Thanks for having me. I feel good. How are you? I'm great. We got to talk about the pal thing on your arm. Let me see. Show that off real quick. Oh. That's fire. Yeah, it's a bracelet. Just put together with my homie, Mo. That's fire. What's your homie's name? Mo. 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 Yeah. Malcolm, Malcolm. Shout out Malcolm, man. Yeah, he get busy. Yeah. How you been? I've been good, man. You got a busy year so far, too. It's a busy year? Yeah. Yeah. Rock I think I'm always busy. I'm always moving around. Mm. Whether people see it or not, everybody will always be like, yo, I'm doing this. I just be moving and shaking, and when people see it, they see it. Right. Like at the Rock Brunch, and now obviously we got yeah. a press. What are we on a press run for, my brother? What we got coming uh, out? Oh, man. New music coming out. EP coming out. Okay. I'm announcing that date soon. Title soon. Yeah, new music, all sorts of shit. Videos. Because I was saying the last EP was like 2020, right? 2020? Yeah, about, yeah, to that That's Dua's Heart? Yep, yep, yeah, yep, yep. So it's been, a, it's been a little minute. Yeah, yeah, it's been a little minute, but I've always been busy working. So what have it's you been, been right doing time. on, like, the side? Well, on the side, besides just recording and all that, I think we focusing more on the branding side of things. I got tired of just, like, <clears throat> just rapping, rapping, and putting that shit out. And it's, it's the, same, the same process, so I think this time around, Get more into the branding, putting that more behind the music, and just having a plan, having the content ready, and then putting it out, rolling it out the right way. So that's pretty much it. Yeah. You feel like you didn't have the plan before, or you were just kind of nah, throwing things out? Like... I was kind of just like feeling like, yo, I'm gonna make EP, and I just put together the EP, then <laughs> put the business together, put it out. But this time, like, we really planning to like really get the outreach we're looking for. So. Mm. Yeah. Kind of moving more strategic now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's better because after a while, I've been doing this a while. You don't want to just keep like doing it like you just started it, especially when you're a business and yeah. you really want to keep that shit like rocking. Like, cause I peep like, you know, we got the new single out now, right? Mm -hmm. But like, if you look at the DSP, right, you have till death do his art, and then it's like the three year gap with the single. You know what I'm saying? But I know like on YouTube, I was. I was what single like, is that? Super. Super. Yeah. Uh, no, that's a feature I did with somebody. Oh, that's a feature. Yeah. That's a feature. That's a well, feature. I mean, y'all released it like this, so it kind of yeah. like, I thought, I, when yeah, you I see it, it's just that. like, it's a, you that's know what I'm saying? That's a feature I did with somebody. Okay, so that's not even like that. You yeah, so even the latest job, like probably, if you want to see latest jobs, you probably got to go on like YouTube, my YouTube or some shit. Right. Or my Instagram, I drop like little freestyles or whatever. Yeah, because I was watching uh, your middle of the ocean freestyle. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. A little yeah. while, which is honestly one of my favorite recent Drake records, too. That's a dope record. Yeah, that's hard. That's so sometimes, yeah, we just do freestyles, we put them out. Usually we try to do them every week, every other week, driving content and stuff like that. So, hmm. yeah, I'm going to be doing that until, you know, the... Right, so Super was... Um, so that was just a feature. Okay, because, like, when I saw it, like, obviously when you have the two primary artists on it, you think it's, like, a new single? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so even then, like, with the, with the freestyles, obviously you've been dropping on YouTube, and that's kind of been your primary source for people to... Receive content from you, yep. right? It hasn't been so much. Oh, go on my DSP, listen to my new music. Yeah. So that three year gap of you just putting stuff on YouTube, like mm -hmm. that was purposeful. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. I just like whenever I pull out music, I gotta really feel it. I gotta like have experience to put together music. I really like. I don't really like just dropping. I know that's a lot of the game. Like people just dropping and dropping and shit. But my fans or the supporters I got, they really rock with it and they wait on it. Especially when I keep them fed with like freestyles or just stuff I'm doing. A lot of people can't figure out, like, how you doing all this shit? I was just, I was keeping good relationships and just moving around, you know what I'm saying? And right. trying to do the music shit right, try to really brand it right. Because, mm. you know, we ain't doing it for nothing. You know? Right. So how do you feel like you've worked on your brand to kind of get to this point where it's like now everything makes sense? Really just building a team around me, uh, taking meetings, like really going to the drawing board, uh, really reaching out and trying to figure out uh, what we're trying to create, who we trying to reach. Um, I don't want to say what we're trying to sell, but like kind of like that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just really like tapping in to see what makes Sean Smith, Sean Smith. And, you know, it's just something every artist got to go through to figure out how to really connect mm -hmm. to people instead of just, you know, I'm just rapping, I'm the shit. But it's like, what are you? you know what, I mean? what does really make Sean Smith? Sean Smith, I feel like <laughs> I'm a hope dealer. Like, you feel me? Like, I just give people hope. I inspire people. It's just something natural. Like, I'm from Philly. I'm from Southwest Philly. Yeah. So I've seen a lot of crazy, like, shit. And, you know, like, I just know how to be a voice for the voiceless. You feel me? And I do it in my music, and people send me messages all day. Like, yo, you inspire me. Like, you maybe want to mm. 
So I feel like that's me. Uh, my brand, Sink or Swim, that's kind of what I, I wanted to be, like a motivational, like a new like lifestyle for people. So that's kind of what I push for. Sink or Swim, I like that. Yeah, Sink or Swim. How long ago did you start that? I started that. 2013. Okay. So it's been a while. Yeah, but it's been like out for probably like a couple of years. Word. But that's something I came up with in 2013. So for you, like kind of being back outside and kind of really like, you know, putting yourself out there, like is that <clears throat> tough for you? Like doing the, like now being have to travel so much, doing the Rock Nation brunches, like. Uh, no. Like how usually, does it feel to kind of be in this, like, you know, back in this promotional aspect of yourself and your upcoming music? And it is kind of like, weird, like especially coming off the pandemic, like we had our faces all covered and we was in the crib. So that was like a real good space for me because I'm always like just like out the mix anyway right. I, I wish I could like cover my face all the time <laughs> you were like I mean you could just you know get a shicey like everybody else <laughs> yeah, yeah everybody I gotta wear wearing a shicey shicey now though. And yeah like that. <laughs> that's gonna crazy. end soon too but you know popping back out I don't know it's just something I'm natural at and I've right. been doing it a long time so it clicks back but yeah it is good to be moving around even behind the scenes if I don't post I'm always like moving around and going somewhere yeah. and doing something you know what I'm saying so yeah, it feel good. I feel you on like the pandemic stuff too, because like even though I do this, like I'm very much like when I'm home, I'm home. You feel me? Facts. Like when I'm at the crib, like I just want to be at the crib, just chilling. Yeah. Like I don't want to be like in the mix. I'd rather just like yeah. be home doing what I'm doing. Having to stay in the crib was different than just like yo, I'm going to stay in the Facts. crib. I had to do a lot in the crib, like that I probably didn't want to do. Like what? Like sometimes I don't like recording at home, like recording myself, like mm. so I might want to go to the studio. That wasn't really available. I like finished some cybersecurity course. I finished that like at home because I'm into like tech shit. Oh, so you uh you uh kind of like kind of trying to get into that cybersecurity? Yeah, thing too? I'm kind of into it. Like, but I'm into, into like computer tech shit and shit like okay. that. Uh, just a lot of little stuff. Like, you don't want to be confined. Like, I feel like you really gotta get some sun. That shit just be depressing sometimes. Staying in the crib. Like, so yeah. There's a difference between like like being stuck in the crib and then like also if you have like an outside part of your crib, you know what I'm saying? But then like you want to go places too. Yeah, you know it's Philly. Like, so like when I go to LA, we like rent a crib, it's like a balcony. It's like bad sun. It's kind of different. Yeah. In Philly, like I got backyard. You gotta, you gotta watch the cut though. Like <laughs> Right. But Philly like cut. musical music like speaking now, like we had a little conversation before about like I just wanna rock and like that little discourse that was going on around the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. Um but like it's in a cool place right now. You know what I'm saying? Great like place. I feel like uh, I feel like the different artists who I've had up here throughout the course of the past year, like everybody's doing something different. You know what I'm saying? There's obviously yeah, like I feel that a certain like Detroit beat drill wave going on in Philly. Then you know, then you have obviously like Spitters, U Core, mm -hmm. uh, so on and so forth. And then you know, then the the club stuff that we were speaking about too. Yeah. Like it's like there's a bunch of different type of things going on, but it's yeah. good because they all complement each other in a way. You know, it's crazy. To us, it's like Philly always been like that, but now all of that is getting to shine. Like, yeah. So even a couple of years ago, like obviously I always lived in Philly or like grew up in Philly, and it's always a bunch of different creatives. Like if you get past the spitters, you know somebody that yo he's an amazing clothing designer. Like oh right. he he can paint, uh, she can really dance and sing, mm -hmm. or he makes some crazy music that people just not hearing yet. So now that TikTok is at the hands of people. I think a lot of creatives did just be like, yo, this is what I'm working on. And they give other people the chance, like, yo, this popping. Instead of just, yo, you got to have a company to be pushing your stuff out. You can do it on your own. Like, yo. So I think that's dope. People got to really a chance to just push their stuff out. Right. Yeah. And then they could still be like, they could still do the things that they do, but then also cross the different lanes. Like, you think of like Uzi and Too Rare and how Uzi now has had a completely different sound at first and now he yeah that's just evolution that's just dope but that's any, tight you know what i'm saying like it's cool that you can see things like that yeah you know what I'm i feel like any artist that can just evolve over time like that right it's just like get into the like wave of things in your own way that's fire so that's i that's started them right there and you my friend you about to evolve with this new project for sure singles. yeah every time like every time i drop i never wanted to really be the same right so i'm like a like a crazy genius for my art and shit so like i i will go crazy if like one EP <laughs> sound like the last EP or like the art ain't exactly how I wanted it to be. Pouring outside. Um yeah, but is. with this new project, uh do we have a name for it yet? I do, but I don't know if I wanna put it out there yet because I don't know. It might change last minute. How oh, okay, it might change last minute. <laughs> Are you someone who like last minute like flips things for around? Sure. Okay. I'm nuts. Sure. I was looking at D because I thought I thought you looked at D or 
your manager to be like, damn, man. I yeah, of course. Do. Yeah. I might, like, get in trouble with it, but, like, you know, I don't know. I move on. I got intuition. Like, I got, like, creative intuition. I'll be like, like, you feel like you're going to change it, like, in a couple, like, in, yeah, like, for a couple sure. months. <laughs> for sure. I'm just like that. But with this project, so, like, what themes are you kind of bringing now to your fans now that we kind of look, this is, like, the first proper project and releases that you've had in, in, in three years? Well, I feel like I've gotten better at just, like, making music that connect to people. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like years ago, I was kind of in my own, like, just like, even with lyrics, I was just in my bag about just being the greatest rapper ever. And at the same time, now I know, you know, trying to be the greatest rapper ever, but still trying to connect to people as well mm -hmm. and make records that they can play every day, listen to and play in the background. And I feel like with this project, I made a lot of great music that could like really play anywhere, whether it's, I don't really like to just say, but like radio or like in the house, playlists, in the car. So a lot of these records, I really got better at just making songs, I feel like. Mm. Yeah. So when do you think we're going to get all this good stuff by? I'm hoping like a month, maybe. In a month? Yeah. So like April, maybe. Yeah. By April. That sound nice, yeah. Something for the springtime? Yeah, that sound nice. <laughs> see, I, I see the indecisiveness you know, on your face. You're like, I'm about to flip yeah, all this shit cause I get and the, then drop it in July. Get the date. I wish it was like, yo, this one we drop it. You know, I, I get that bag a little more. Mm -hmm. But right now, we getting the date together. Yeah, it's going to come out, though. Word, I'm excited. So yeah. by the time the people see this, the freestyle's out now. You're doing some mob deep shit today, right? Yeah. We're not going to yeah. flip the beat. We're not going to change the beat in the next couple minutes. You already did that, right? Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> I'm going to stick to this, Joe. I got to do it for sure for New York. Philly Cat on New York, you know what I'm saying? Fire. So we got uh, the freestyle now, so make sure y'all go check that out. Um, project on the way. If it's out For by sure. now, make sure y'all go check that out. You know what I'm saying? Go stream that. You know, first major release in three years, so go show that some love. Um, before we get out of here, anything else you want to let the people know where they can follow you at? All the good stuff. Now's the time to do it. This camera right here. Yeah, for sure. Sean Smith. Follow me on all platforms. Sean Smith Story, Twitter, Instagram, and all that. Sink or Swim is the movement. Philly is where I'm from. If you like rap, I'm taking over the game, coming for y'all heads. Make sure y'all tune in. There. Boom. There you have it. Make sure you go follow him. Uh, go show him some love. Go show him some support. Go run up that project once it's out. Go run up that freestyle when it's out. Go run up everything he has out now. Love is free. Support is free. But try to new that. Till next time, on the radar, Sean Smith. Let's Billy. go. We out. Bye. Dope. It's a good time, Sean.